welcome back to my channel i've got my rainbow colors out um, a couple of months ago i did a pinwheel dutch pour with rainbow colors and i loved it and i had loads of lovely comments about it um, so i'm going to do another one so i'm going to lay some um, dutch pour paints down in a pinwheel shape on my canvas and then blow it out with a hairdryer in that sort of spiral shape so hopefully just get a wonderful bright um, pinwheel of rainbow colors I'm using a 50 centimetre square canvas. You can probably see in the centre, I've drawn a circle and then I have some lines go radiating round. So that's the template or the, the where I'm gonna put the paint. That's the, the, the design for the pour. Now I've got a whole selection of rainbow colours down either side here. And I've just put the, some of the bottles on top because I'm trying to work out roughly where to put them all. So, I, so I've got the whole rainbow so that when I pour them on, I'm I'm, finishing where I start if that makes sense now I always I don't know if you if you agree with this but I always find that the reds oranges and yellows kind of blend together as one so I think I want to make because there's less shades of red available I want to make the red orange and yellow section slightly smaller so that you can have a full range of all the other colors so I think this sort of work this roughly this this design um so I'm first of all, I think, just going to put some of these colours down, just one of each colour. I'm just going to pour it onto the canvas. Now, these are all mixed to my Dutch pour consistency, so they all uh, have flood fluoratrol and water in them. So they're nice and fluid, nice and runny. So I'm just going to put a little bit on to start with and then I will add lots more in a minute. But this is just my rough guide to start with. Right, I think that should work. So I'm now basically just gonna fill the whole canvas up, apart from the center, fill the whole canvas up with paint, do um, lots of wiggly lines, lots of overlapping of my rainbow. Um, there'll be lots of little spare bits of canvas, but that's actually fine because um, I'm gonna be blowing this out with the hairdryer. So it, that's, it will all get covered. all my colors down except white i want to add white because white just brightens everything it looks beautiful and mixed in with other colors so i think i'm just going to do a few little lines everywhere And then I'm just going to try and bring this colour inwards just a little bit towards that circle. Right, so I'm going to... Blow this out. I'm just wondering about this centre, you know. So the centre I was going to put white on afterwards. I guess the other option is that I just actually draw the colours in more now.
No, that's not going to work, is it? Because then I'm going to get orange over this side. No, that's not going to work. Right, OK, let's blow this out and then we'll sort the centre out afterwards. So I'm going to blow this out in the direction of the, oops, of the paint, of the curves. it right there's a few places i'm now going to just blow with my breath where the, it hasn't flowed completely perfectly like here it sticks out slightly so i'm just going to just blow on it just to get it into the direction of the curve a bit better absolutely over the moon i prefer this to the first one um let me tell you why i realized my red section was far too big and my pink section was tiny i hardly had any pink so i ended up putting some more pink on top as you saw and then blowing it out with the hairdryer and then with my breath and i loved this sort of slightly rippled effect oh Oh no, I just touched it. Um, I'll sort that out in a minute. Uh, slightly rippled effect at the edge. So I decided to get that slightly fluted rippled effect. I would blow with my mouth ev all the way, all with my breath, all the way around the edge. So it's less linear, but it's more sort of rippled. And I just think it looks a bit more like tie dye. Um, so quite fluted, quite choppy at the edges. So it loved that. And then I had the centre to decide what to do. So I was planning on adding some paint to the centre, but I ended up finding if I just blew the paint back towards the centre, I could actually get a spiral. I didn't need to add any more paint. I then had used different sized paint brushes, the ends of the paint brushes, just to draw the paint through. Oh, why is it not focusing? There we go. 
and I really like that. So it looks like literally the colours are knotted together and spinning together there in the centre. So I'm so happy with this. Really, really love it. It's just so bright and bold, happy, colourful, really, really happy. So I'll be back when it's dry. I think this has to be one of my new all time favourite pours because it's so dramatic. The colours are so intense, so bright. Just so powerful looking, um, so happy with it. Um, love the center, look how well it's worked. You've just got every single color pulling together into a really tight spiral in the center. Um, really, really pretty, so happy with it. Um, I really like the edges where I blew on the edges just to soften them slightly so they're quite fluted, they're quite pretty, they're quite delicate. They're more delicate using my breath to um, change the shape rather than just the hairdryer. With the hairdryer, you definitely get straighter lines in the middle of each jet of air. So by using my breath, it just, it just made it a little bit choppier and I just think that works so well. Um, love the fact that you've got the green and the yellow next to each other and they haven't muddied so there isn't any brown. So I think the, the only reason that works is just by using, by not blowing over them too many times. If I kept going, it definitely would muddy. The colours just fall over the edges. So yeah, just so pretty, really happy with it. And if just to try and show you in the light, the iridescence, you've got some really beautiful iridescence. So you've got the pink there, You've got the turquoise there, the iridescent green yellow, the green blue, the iridescent orange. So in every section, there is some iridescence, so it just shines beautifully. So absolutely love this, over the moon with this piece. So please let me know what you think. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it, um, or just if you've enjoyed watching the video. Great, take care everyone. Bye.